everybody! Welcome to Behind the Vanity. I'm Jessica, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. Happy to have you. And please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification so you'll know when I post more videos. That applies whether you're new or old to my channel. And like this video, share this video. Also, follow me on Instagram at Behind the Vanity Official. Also, like me on Facebook at Behind the Vanity. Those of you who have seen my videos before, if I'm not applying makeup, I already have a little bit of makeup on. Today, I'm not, I'm not wearing any makeup right now because I'm going to show you how to achieve my very natural, no makeup makeup look that I have used for filming. I'm kind of lazy when it comes to kind of putting on makeup and doing my hair. So when I started this YouTube channel, I didn't want to feel like I had to put on a lot of makeup just to film and then to take it off to put makeup on. I didn't want that kind of pressure. So usually if I'm going to put makeup on, I start my video out not wearing makeup. But usually if I'm just going to be talking about stuff, I'll usually have a little bit of makeup on. But I also want to be true to myself so it's a very natural makeup look because really that that is who I am. Even though I'm a performer and I wear all this crazy stage makeup, that's not really who I am outside of work very much. So today I'm going to show you how to achieve the natural makeup look that I use for filming. So let's get started. The biggest thing is that if you want your makeup to look like you're not wearing makeup, you have to take off your old makeup. So make sure you start with a clean face, moisturized skin. That's the most important. From there, I'm, I'm actually gonna use this Beauty Blender type sponge. And it's funny because I did a video about how to apply your foundation. I had mentioned how my go-to technique has been the makeup, the foundation brush. And before that, I was using a silicone sponge, and this was kind of the method that I used the least. But kind of since I've done that video, I've had this little makeup sponge handy, and I've been using it to put my foundation on for the videos. So I'm gonna do that today, because that's what I've been doing. So I've, real, I've taken to it. Now that means I use all three of those methods, like all the time inter intermittently. So it's cool. So I'm gonna start, this is damp. I already dampened it. I dampened it and wrung it out a bit so it is damp. Usually I use one of two foundations. One is the L'Oreal Lumi, and then the other is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup, and I really love them both about both equally. I think I tend to use this one more for filming, so I'm gonna just use this today. But to get a really natural look, I, I have had this for years. It's Smashbox Artificial Light. It's a luminizing lotion and it is in glare. And I don't even know if they make this stuff anymore, but there are products like this. It's just a it's just a luminizer, it's just a little bit of a highlighter. You can literally take any liquid highlighter. And so what I do is you get, get to shake them up real good. And then I like to use a little bit of both to get just a really light finish. Let me pin my hair back. Ooh, my roots need done bad. Okay, so take your damp makeup sponge and then I'm gonna take a couple pumps of the foundation and then this always squirts out really fast so I'm gonna be kind of extra cautious and then I'm gonna put a good pump full of the luminizing liquid and then just apply start at the center of your face and work your way outward You'll notice that I am doing my foundation first, and that is because even though usually I say to do this after your eye makeup, I'm not gonna be wearing heavy eye makeup, so it's okay. So that's done. So next, it's time for concealer. And this is what I use usually when I'm filming, I'm here at home, Makeup Forever Ultra HD invisible cover concealer. So then I just like to take a little bit of this and I'll usually just put a little bit of this on the sponge and I go very light with it. Again, I don't want to overdo the concealer especially. And I tend to apply it under my eyes, kind of around my nose and around my chin. And then I kind of blend, make sure you blend kind of downward and in the corner of your eyes. And this just helps with any extra little 
imperfections. Now our base is done. And usually what I do, I always end up getting a lot of concealer on my lip. And if I'm, if I'm wearing lipstick, I don't mind that. But I'm gonna be wearing lip gloss, so I'm gonna kinda just go ahead and wipe this off my lip. And then just go ahead and feather it around the edges. So that way I don't look lifeless when I put my lip gloss on. So the next thing I like to do is eyelashes. And for filming, what I tend to use is the Ardell Wispies. I think they're just the perfect lash and they're dramatic enough I could wear them on stage and they're natural enough that I can wear them off the stage. So they're just a good all around eyelash. And I think as far as all the eyelashes I've put on, they're some of the easiest to put on. I don't know why, they just, they just are. So then we just apply them. So what we do is I love this duo adhesive. It's a strip lash, brush on adhesive with vitamins and it comes, it's white and it just comes with like a brush applicator and I just love this stuff. It also doesn't have a smell like some of the other adhesives have that I literally can't stand. I've had to stop using just the one in the tube because I can't stand the smell and I can smell it hours after I put my eyelashes on and it, it actually turns my stomach and I don't have a weak stomach so I love this because it literally has no smell. So just take the adhesive and just brush it on just in an even layer like this. I don't know if you can see that. And then let it get just a little bit tacky. Once the glue gets tacky, usually I'll have a, a little bobby pin and when I go to put the eyelash on, you just kind of lay it on your eye. And then I like to take a bobby pin to kind of press the lash down. And it kind of keeps it nice and controlled because sometimes our fingers are just too big. So press it down with the head of the bobby pin to get a good seal. Then do the other one. Now this is something I do with my lashes. I don't know if it's like politically correct with the eyelashes, but I like to kind of once they're really kind of dry and on there, I like to kind of just press them to my lash, which I don't have much of my own lash. But I like to, I like to like press them up. Okay, when they're fairly on and fairly even, <laughs> I think my left one is a little higher, but that's okay. It's good enough. There, it's never gonna be perfect, so the more you try, sometimes the worse it will get, so at some point you just have to kind of like let it go. And of course, you could always skip the step of the eyelashes and just wear mascara. If you are blessed with pretty lashes, don't mess around with the fake eyelashes, just do mascara. But I literally have no eyelashes, so... This helps my, I think this helps my makeup look really more natural because I don't have to add a lot. I don't, I won't even wear eyeliner. Like as you'll notice with filming, I don't wear eyeliners. So next, we've just got to kind of brighten up our face a little bit. So what I start with is I'm going to do some bronzer. And I do, I've been using this Hula, Benefit Hula bronzer forever. I've had this container forever because I don't wear a ton of makeup outside of work. So my makeup at home lasts me a long time, but it's just a matte, just kind of a matte caramel. They now make a light version of this and a dark version of this, which is really cool. So people that have, this one's good for like my skin tone, kind of somewhere right in the middle, but they have a lighter version that's perfect if you are fair skinned. And then they have a darker version for darker skin girls because you know, this might not be dark enough for someone with dark skin or just too dark for someone with really fair skin. So I think that's great. That's why this is like a, if you, if you want to invest in like a high end product, this is a good one to do because it really is good stuff. Take my bronzer brush, just one of these little cork handles. I don't even know the brand, but I've been using it forever. So I just take some, I kind of swirl it around the cap, and then just kind of, I like to go around, bring it down my neck. They say what you like, what you should do with bronzer is like make like a three, where you start at the temples, go to the cheekbones and under. 
And then I will kind of drag it across like my cheeks a little bit. So there we go, you don't wanna overdo it. Just a little sun kiss look. And then the next thing I do is, this is again another, I've had this for years, just another good high-end product that if you don't know what to buy high-end and you wanna buy something, this is a safe bet. It's the it's NARS blush, and this is in the name, this is NARS Orgasm Blush. It is, it has a, just a cult-like following. It just has been super popular for so long, and it's good stuff. So, just a very finely milled blush, so it's really easy to like not, it doesn't get splotchy very easily. And it's just a very universally flattering color. Been around for years, so that's what I've been wearing. So I just take my little blush brush and take some of the product. Next, we're gonna just kind of brighten up the eye area. So we're gonna do, first we're gonna do eyebrows and I'm gonna use this little pencil that I used in my eyebrow tutorial video. I'll put a link to that. I'll put a link to, at the bottom to the foundation tutorial that I did and the eyebrow tutorial. So you will recognize this from that video. And this is the Shella Tintalizing Taupe Eyebrow Color. It's a really thin, retractable eye, eyebrow pencil and it's really great because it's, it's easy to not overdo it. So it gives you a lot of control. So it's a good, it's a good pencil and just go in and fill the eyebrows. I just like to do a very natural look. I like my eyebrows to not look so much tattooed on. I, I like them to kind of look like natural, naturally thick. And then just use one of these little brushes. And just, there we go, just a nice, natural, full eyebrow that I was not born with. And there we go, our eyebrows are done. So, the next thing, and this, I really, really like this. Again, this is a bunch of, these two things both I got like in an Ipsy bag or some kind of a beauty subscription thing. But this has been a really nice pencil. It's Arrow Enhance, it's a waterproof eyeliner. It's like a, it's like a brightener. It's like, so it's just this kind of like, kind of light pink colored pencil. And this is really good for going up along your brow bone and just kind of accentuating where the bottom of the brow is. Just a very natural way to highlight the brow bone. You go and you just put like a layer of that and I like I just like to put like a little bit of like a line a thick line underneath and then I like to just and then I like to blend just to soften that line we kind of have our brow bone accentuated the next thing I like to do is I've had this again for years it's just an urban decay single eyeshadow and this is in sellout and it is kind of like a champagne, it's a shimmer. And it's just kind of like a champagne color. Of course, it's well loved. And I'm just gonna take this little brush and just kind of swipe some product on there and just kind of go in here all over my eyelid. I just like that it gives just a little, little hint of shimmer, just kind of brightens up my eye and I'm just putting it all over. See, and see the difference? Just looks a little brighter, but very natural. There we go, we just have the eye area brightened up, just very super, super natural. And if you were wearing, if you just have pretty eyelashes with like mascara, this is gonna be like a super, super, even more natural of a look for you. Very lucky. So now the last thing, oh, here's another tip too that you could do. I do it sometimes, but if you take some of like a little bit of your blush, and I'm gonna use the NARS Orgasm, and you just take a little bit of your, just a very light hand, and you can put a little bit of your blush in there, kind of in the crease. It just kind of adds a little extra layer of like aliveness to your face. Just a little, it's like a very subtle, it's not even really like a pop of color. It's just a little, I don't know, just a little life behind the eyes, I guess. 
So now the last thing and this is it. This is what I do for filming. I just go ahead and if you've watched my Dollar Tree tutorial, my very first YouTube video, if you haven't, I'm gonna link it to the bottom and be kind, it's my first ever tutorial, my first ever video. So, but you'll recognize this lip gloss and the, the writing is now wearing off of it because I use it all the time for filming and it's a LA Colors moisturizing lip gloss in coral and I just have been using this because it is like the perfect natural lip gloss shade, I think. And there you go. I am now ready to film as many videos as I want to film, especially if I'm not really applying makeup and I'm just educating you about something or sometimes I'll do like, like I'll do eyebrows, so I'll have like a base on. So this is the base I'll have on or whatnot. So anyway, there you go. Just a very natural, easy look that you can achieve very, very, very easily at home. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification and like this video and share this video, please. Like me on Facebook. My Facebook page is Behind the Vanity. And follow me on Instagram at Behind the Vanity Official. So anyway, we'll see you next time. Bye.